In times when representation and diversity were just a new concept, everybody applauded the long-running CBS series Grey's Anatomy for getting along with the movement. They showed Dr. Kelly Torres, by, played by Sari Ramirez, transition a bisexual icon and then introduced Dr. Erica Han, who would go on to be her partner in doing so, become the first lost day sound sex with a couple in the medical drama. It was a choice that had a lot of positive feedback, and people just adore the couple of Father Torres and Dr. Han, but unfortunately for the fans, the couple wouldn't last for long. The CBS series wrote off Brooke Smith's character after only two years of introducing her in 2008, much to Smith's shock as the rest of his viewers. The 54-year-old actress got candid with people about how her departure came as kind of a bummer. She went on to thank all the fans who expressed her complaints and disappointment over her exit from the series. I really would like to let them know that it really helped me actually. I really did feel their support, she shared. Something more disappointing than her exit may be the fact that she was not given the same big dramatic exit that pivotal characters like hers are usually given in the series. She's just shown getting in a car does not even look like has any intention of going away for long, but there you have it. We finally know the complete detail behind why Grey's Anatomy took such a drastic decision of letting the character go in such a rushed way. Smith was really shocked when was told that she would be leaving the series because they couldn't write for her anymore, especially after she got so much feedback not that long ago for her performance. I found out mid-September of 2008, soon after shooting the monologue that aired last where Erica's a revelation that she's gay. They even came down and told me it was a great scene, one of the best they ever shot on the show, Smith told EW at the time. So I was really, really shocked. I was floored when they told me I was being let go. It was the last thing I expected. We feel even more sorry for Smith since she was apparently only given the heads up a day before her last episode was about to air. Even Smith was undisclosed of the exact reason why she was being let go so abruptly and would want answers just as much as us. It was like the show took one step forward and two steps back with representation, which did make it a target of being anti-gay accusations. Chandra Ryan's creator and executive producer of the series came forward to deny such claims. Brooke Smith was obviously not fired for playing a lesbian. She stated according to TV Guide, Clearly it's not an issue as we have a lesbian character on the show, Elyobi Torres. Sarah Ramirez is an incredible comedic and dramatic actress and we wanted to be able to play up her magic. Unfortunately, we did not find the magic and chemistry of Brooke's character would sustain in the long run. Still, Smith in her interview at State of the Rhymes may have her hands tied in this decision, so we don't know whom to trust right here.